Life After Love Part 1 by Victoria Monet. Victoria Monet McCants was born in Georgia, but was raised in Sacramento, California. She's had an interest in performing arts since she was a kid. She started out singing in the choir in Catholic school and church. She would soon begin exchanging poetry with her cousin, which became her new passion. That turned into her writing songs. Through MySpace, she'd meet Rodney Durkins, where she began to learn and work with him. She would then write hooks for artists like Kendrick Lamar, Nas, Kanye West, just to name a few. She's written a lot of songs for Ariana Grande and Fifth Harmony as well. Life After Love Part 1 is her third EP. How do we feel about it? Victoria Monet, man. You just came to the realization today that you you, you knew her voice, but you yeah, just can't put it to it, man. How do you feel about love, Life After Love? Yo, man, I thought it was a really well done project. Um, I like how it was structured, you know, throughout the whole uh, EP. It kind of gave you, like, a short little kind of story to it or whatever like that. I, I like how it started out like that. Uh, when it went to Wish I Never Met You, I was like, okay, this is really cool. Like, you know how you can listen to some songs and kind of predict the hook? I couldn't predict that one because I thought it was just going to be some generic kind of hook, but I actually like what she did with it. It was really cool. Uh, Freak was cool. I love that a lot. Um, no Good was all right, but when it got to uh, Waterfall of Love, I really like how, what was she saying, um, Drown in, Drown in My Tears or something like that. Yeah, well, I hope you cry enough to make a bridge deep enough, to, a river deep enough yeah. to drown in or something Yeah, like I was that. just like, okay, okay, that's, I mean... I'm, that's pretty savage, but still, I just like how she wrote that. She did write everything on here, right? I believe so. Okay, yeah, I, I like that a lot. Um, next thing, bet you didn't know, I liked it, but I just didn't like how she did the voice change when she said, "Bet you didn't know." Kind of like the little auto, like chipmunk kind of little voice. I didn't like that, but I like the song a lot. Uh, Ten new friends, it's crazy because like. You know how I drive a lot. I really wasn't paying attention to the song. Uh, so by the time later. it got to the end, I'm like, damn, she got 10 new friends to mess with. I'm like, that's kind of cold. But then I'm like, hold on. Let me go back and listen to that one more time. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's what she's talking about. But I like how she wrote that. That was pretty cool. Uh, Let Her Go, I thought was real smooth. Uh, smooth way to end the project. And Open Your Eyes, I thought that was a great way to kind of tease you for the next part to come. But overall, I love her vocal ability. I think she has a beautiful voice. And I just like the way, I love the way that she uh, writes her songs and she arranges them. And to find out that she has had a hand in a lot of songs and worked with a lot of different kind of artists that, that shows throughout her work. So yeah, I gave it a B plus. I thought it was fire. Bird. Uh, I listened to the project uh, like two, three times. And then I was just like, some of it wasn't connecting, so I wanted to hear what her other projects sound like. So I went back and I listened to uh, Lullabies and Nightmares, okay. Volume 1 and 2. Okay. Nightmares and Lullabies, Volume 1 and 2. And uh, I actually liked the sound that she used in both of those projects. I felt like she changed it a little bit. Okay. I swear, like, if you're probably an Ariana Grande fan or Fifth Harmony fan, you'll probably like these songs. Okay. But I'm not a fan of any one of them. So when I heard the songs, I was just like, uh... So the intro is cool. Mm -hmm. I actually like the whole idea of everything she was saying. Wish I Never Met You was actually pretty dope. I like that. Yeah. Freak, I like how it kind of sounds like something Aaliyah probably would. Yeah, I got that vibe through it. To code yeah. of if, like when she was older. Yeah. Uh, no good. I like the songwriting. Yeah. But at the same time, I still felt like it was, man, it was well written, but yeah. I felt like it was badly executed. I, 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 think, I feel what you're saying on that. I, I, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you listen to it, I like the complexity and, and like what she's saying about the weapons and everything like that. Yeah. But I felt like it was executed wrong. Okay. Uh, Waterfall Out of Love, definitely my favorite song on this whole joint. Uh, next thing, and bet you don't know, I like how she kind of like, I felt like she did that to kind of differentiate both sides of it. Yeah. But it was a cool project, 10 New Friends. Like, I think I caught it the second time. The first time, I usually let, listen to it. And if something catches me, I'll pay right. attention. Right. If it doesn't, I'll just let it play. Yeah. But, and then like the second or third time is when I try to break down the meaning and stuff like that. Yeah. And like the second time, I, I kind of, you know, caught what she was saying. I yeah, kind of laughed. Yeah, cause she was just like, you know, I close the door and I get in my bed. I'm like, oh. Gotcha. I mean, <laughs> she, she pretty. It's kind of like jocking, like what Sweet did. With yeah. Oops. But I mean, it's 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 still somewhat different. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, Let it go was pretty cool. And open your eyes, it was okay. Like, yeah. but overall, man, I I still felt like this joint was average. I give it a C. 
What? Bro, what are you talking uh, about, man? I think she's got a lot of talent. She's definitely dope as a songwriter. Yeah. I hope part two goes a little bit harder. And I want to okay. hear her more in the R&B realm because I know it's R&B, but you don't think it's still like R&B? pop. It's, to me, it, it comes off as poppy R&B. Like, really? I would never consider what Ariana Grande does as R&B. I don't know, man. It seemed like R&B to me, man. I mean, but it sounds like somebody doing Ariana Grande songs. Did it not come off that well, way? Maybe, I, mean, I know I don't, she's I writing don't, them. I don't listen to Ariana Grande that much, so maybe that's why. Well, I know because I when I hear it, I change it. So it's just like... <laughs> And when I was hearing these songs, I, I, it's a different voice, definitely. Right, right, but, right. You know, and I also want to hear more vo- a vocal range. Like I want it, I want her to test to see what I, she. I think she do. has it, but I like what she displayed there. But I, I, I feel what you're saying. You yeah, want her just to go a little bit more because you know of her history of writing for Ariana. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Victoria Monet. What's up? Yo, you looking for TV reviews, music reviews, movie reviews? Then check out the only reviews that matter, man. Yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notifications and stay tuned.